Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Dr. Stephen Burgess. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer here at Avanti Polar Lipids. And today I would like to talk about contract manufacturing of cationic lipids, a CDMO perspective. I'll start out with a brief introduction to Avanti Polar Lipids for those of you who may not be familiar with us. I'll follow that with a discussion of the activities that take place during GMP development of lipid manufacturing. Those who will benefit from this presentation are typically going to be startup and early biotech drug developers that have minimal experience or no experience in manufacturing, and then clients who are considering a contract manufacturer for their proprietary lipid. Avanti was founded in 1967, so we have a little over 50 years experience in manufacturing lipids. We started out primarily manufacturing phospholipids, but over the years we've added expertise in manufacturing sphingolipids, glycolipids, sterols, and detergents. Many of these we now offer manufactured under GMP for pharma applications. Avanti was acquired by Crota International earlier this year. This gives us added capacity when it comes to manufacturing for commercial products. We currently have about 175 employees and still growing. We have 11 buildings on our campus, 25 acres, and 80,000 square feet of manufacturing. Here you can see an aerial view of the Avanti campus. Avanti operates a separate GMP manufacturing facility that is animal origin free. So we only manufacture plant or synthetic derived materials in this facility. The analytical facility is also FDA inspected. We operate a separate R&D facility for doing all process development, as well as a separate formulation facility for formulation development and then a separate building for GMP formulation manufacturing. Many of you in drug product development will recognize this type of slide. Basically outlines the life cycle of a drug product, starting with the bench scale experiments and discovery. You move the product into clinical trials, phase one, two, and three, and go for your approval and eventually get to your commercial product. Unfortunately, many times during clinical trials, problems can arise that will become a drain on resources and finances. We want to avoid this black hole at all costs. Consideration of manufacturing analytical and regulatory issues early on in the product development cycle can help you steer clear of the event horizon. At Avanti, we take a phased approach to product development. Once the project has been initiated and planning completed, Avanti will perform a technology transfer and feasibility batch, followed by pilot batch production, CGMP manufacturing, and eventually scale up in commercial production if the project is successful. I'll step through each one of these phases so that you can see the types of activities that occur at each phase. Been initiated. Avanti and the client will negotiate contract terms and conditions and sign the master service agreement, which will govern the remainder of the project. Under the MSA, an individual statement of work can be executed for each of the product development phases. We will also assign a product development team, which will include the project manager, as well as representatives from each area of the company manufacturing, quality control, quality assurance, and regulatory. We will also take this time to develop the quality target product profile for the product and review bench scale synthesis procedure if one is available from the client. We will also develop a detailed timeline for the remainder of the project and share this with the client in an online web-based program called Smartsheet. We will also take this time to identify appropriate raw material vendors and prepare requisitions for the feasibility batch. Typically, this phase of the project will take one to two months. Once we execute the MSA and complete the planning process, we move into the technology transfer and feasibility phase of the project. During this phase, 
we perform route scouting to optimize the synthesis provided by the client or modify the synthesis to improve scalability. Once we're satisfied with the process, we will manufacture a feasibility batch to send to the client for comparison. We strongly encourage our clients to compare this against any material they may have manufactured in the past, both for quality and efficacy. We will also initiate the process development report. This is a live document that will follow the life cycle of the product throughout the development process. In addition, we'll perform preliminary risk analysis on raw materials to determine potential supply and quality issues. Typically, this phase of the project will take two to four months depending on the product. Once we have completed the feasibility batch and the client is satisfied with the material, we will move forward into the pilot batch production phase of the project. There are a number of activities associated with this phase of the project, so I have divided these between two slides, one that covers the manufacturing activities and the other will address the analytical activities. For the manufacturing activities, we will generate a batch production record to document the engineering runs manufactured in this phase of the project. This document will eventually become the GMP batch production record once it has been refined. We will also draft developmental batch specifications to cover the quality attributes of the product in this phase of the project. These specifications will eventually become the GMP release specifications once we have identified the appropriate tests and limits for release testing. We will also manufacture multiple pilot batch engineering runs to establish the process prior to moving into GMP manufacturing. At a minimum, we will manufacture two engineering runs. The first will help correct any errors in the batch production record, will help correct any errors in the process, and will also provide material that can be used for analytical method development and other analytical activities. The second engineering run is typically the most like the GMP batch and can be used for toxicology studies in preclinical trials. During this phase, we will also begin to qualify new raw materials that are used in the process. Finally, we will update the process development report with any new information that is derived during this phase of the project. The time for this phase of the project is typically six to eight months, depending on the complexity of the product. The analytical activities for this phase of the project will include development of a purity assay that is capable of identifying process impurities as well as degradation products. The assay will be suitable for release of finished product as well as performing stability studies. The assay is developed in a multi-stage process beginning with a preliminary purity assay that is suitable for release of developmental material. Further characterization of the assay is required before it's acceptable for release of GMP material. In stage two, an untargeted analysis of the material will screen for and identify process impurities and degradation products. Stage two will generate a list of impurities that can be synthesized and characterized for stage three method development. The targeted assay in stage three will utilize the reference standards generated in stage two to generate a stability indicating assay that can also be used for release of finished product up through phase three clinical material. In this phase of the project, we will also initiate stability studies on the pilot batch material at multiple temperatures. Method suitability for other release tests other than the purity assay will be performed and documented. We will also generate a method development report for the purity assay and document that development. Since this is the analytical activities that go along with the manufacturing activities in the phase two pilot batch production, it also requires six to eight months for this phase. This is, runs concurrent with the manufacturing activities. After we finalize process development and successfully completed pilot batch production, we're ready to move into GMP manufacturing. In this phase of the project, 
will utilize the established process and batch production record to manufacture a batch of GMP grade material to support clinical trials. We will also generate a drug master file that can be filed with FDA or other regulatory agencies to support your regulatory filings. For proprietary compounds, we can provide this information in a regulatory dossier that can be included with your own application. We will also initiate stability studies on the GMP grade material, as well as validate the purity assay and the other release tests that are included in the specifications. We'll generate a method validation report, as well as update the process development report. The typical timeline for this part of the process will be five to six months. The final phase of the project to support drug product development is scale up and commercial production. This phase of the project can extend over multiple years as it encompasses multiple phases of clinical trials. Avanti will continue to manufacture GMP grade material to support your clinical trials and scale up the process in anticipation of commercial launch. Once we near commercial launch, Avanti will perform process validation at the commercial scale. We will also update the drug master file to support your NDA filing. If you are successful in getting approval, Avanti will continue to manufacture material for your commercial launch and commercial production. At Avanti, we're always amazed by the things that people do with our lipids, and we're excited to see what you will do. Thank you for your attention, and I'll be happy to take your questions.